Hi there and welcome back. So you can see now I've done the sales. What I did extra, just so you can see up here, this one is not just a dead straight uh, sort of fall off. I went over to the sculpt tools, uh, the push, and I just turned on lock borders to start with just so it wouldn't affect any of the sort of vertices around the edge. And then if you right click you can change the size of your sculpting brusher and you can just push out various bits. So I just pushed out uh, little sort of ridges and ripples. Okay, so uh, the only other thing I've got to do now is just make sure there's no verts after that sculpting which have come away from the uh, the baton bits there, the the sort of ribs. So I'm just gonna just do a wee bit of. I don't want to move things too much because on the other side of the uh, sail there's also uh, sort of a duplicated mesh so if there's nothing overlapping I, I want to leave well alone to be honest just check up here make sure these ones aren't are still within there okay so you're best just to sort of walk away at times these ones here they're a bit pokey out so I'm going to just select the bits both sides basically and I'm just going to just push them in so okay so there's the sail done so that is in fact the modeling of the uh, sampan finished so when we come back I'll upload these now but when we come back to uh, the UV in stage then these bolts obviously we might be able to just UV1 and uh, just reduplicate them around the scene. Um, we, they're going to be so small anyway, we're not really going to have to sort of texture them individually. But uh, we might want. No, actually, no, I will. I'll, I will leave more separately because we're going to do a uh, ambient occlusion pass to help dirty this boat up. So that'll be better if they're all individual for that and to be honest the texture of the bolts the boats gonna be looking like that so to be honest you're not gonna see any of them anyway so we're not too worried but uh, I did put these details in just in case there's a boat like washed up on the island beaches and things um, you might see them then so we might have to come back in at a later date and make a broken up version of this boat like take the sail off and break the mast and things uh, make some holes in the hull so that'll be interesting and that's one of the reasons why we left the anchor and the rudder uh, separate so we can always just sort of split them off later and have anchors laying on the beaches and things so uh, I hope you've enjoyed the modelling of the sandpan it's taken quite a while uh, so when you come back I'll do the UV in and then I'll upload that and then we'll crack on with the texturing so uh, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing actually to the Taipan I'm enjoying uh, doing this for you guys so uh, best of luck with it and I'll see you soon